Greetings, my name is Munir Nasser. I'm a trumpeter, composer, and author of Upright Bass, the musical life and legacy of Jamil Nasser. My father was the late, great bassist, Jamil Nasser. That wasn't his only distinction, however. He was a composer, arranger, jazz advocate, and concert organizer. He has performed over 50 years with some of the greatest names in jazz and blues. This list includes B.B. King, Monty Alexander, Ahmed Jamal, John Coltrane, George Coleman, Harold Mayburn, Lou Donaldson, Sonny Clark, Kenny Durham, Hank Mobley, the list goes on and on and on. On January 31st, 2003, my father and I embarked on this effort to document in upwards of 50 years of experiences in jazz and blues. Since then, I've conducted over 50 interviews with great musicians such as Monty Alexander, George Coleman, Lou Donaldson, John Handy, Norman Simmons. In addition, I conducted research in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, at the National Archives, at the Library of Congress. I spent many hours sifting through his personal papers, his interviews, to compile this text. Now, let me read you a quote from this great forward by Mr. Ron Carter. Thank you, Ron. George's prominent bass notes rang true, and that helped him become a bassist to be heard. I certainly made it a point to buy any recording on which he played bass. I'd like to ask for your assistance in helping me to defray the cost of publishing this manuscript. I am anxious for the public to hear and become aware of this history. And believe me, this is not just a run-of-the-mill jazz book. Trust me, most of these stories you have not heard before, and they're very enlightening and entertaining. That's why I'm so excited to make this available. Now, I'm on a 90-day campaign. It's been 12 years. It's time for this information to become public. And so I'm asking for your support to facilitate the publication of Upright Base. As I mentioned before, and I'll mention again, I'm self-publishing this book and I need your support. And believe me, you will learn aspects of jazz history that are very unfamiliar to most musicians as well as the public. And my father was a great storyteller, as some of you know. There are many people that heard fragments and bits of pieces of these, pieces of these stories over the years. But now you have them in one place. And let's do this, and with your help, I'm sure, we can be successful and you could also become a part of this history as well through your support. Thank you very much.